Like I said, the black people had just assumed that I was a man. Maybe they knew of Brian. Or maybe they just assumed that I was always a man. Or I was always a person. And I was just some rich, stupid child. I don't know. It's like, no. I was just Brian on vacation. Anyway, just taking a vacation. I'm Lucifer Star, the creator of 800 galaxies or some great amount of galaxies and basically the exoskeletons 1.5s and humanity and having existed more than, five, than, than 99 trillion years for the most part. Anyway, like I said, hailed as the greatest civilization builder in the universe, basically, for 10 years. Like I said, I mean, considering that there's lots of lots of life in the whole universe, to actually even be the greatest civilization builder for one year is actually pretty amazing. But I was greatest civilization builder for 10 years straight, or something like that. I was like, ah, whatever. It's a young, it's a, it's a young person's game. I was just doing it for just my for just my life forms. Like I said, I had just created 12 types of life forms or whatever, just for my life forms. I built more, so they wouldn't bump into each other. So, anyway, and then I believe some life form was going to carry on without me, because I was going to go take a vacation or whatever. And besides, like I said, on Earth or somewhere else, they were some people were saying, "Cast out Lucifer Star or Lucifer the Defiler. He will take your children. He will blah 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 blah." It's like that's just strange. <laughs> you know, it's like what? What is going on here? So like I say, shrug. I don't know. I wasn't raping all those women. I didn't order the black people to to rape a lot of women. I didn't order black people. I guess they thought it was funny. I don't know. Like I said, a lot of Germans and a lot of Irishmen, a lot of other people probably would have taken offense to their women or their or their or their daughters being raped by the black people. I don't really know. I said there's all this rape and death and killing and stuff like that running and going around. I said the Irish probably might have actually like known or seen what was going on, and I don't know. Let's have another drink. <laughs> like I said, the Irish were shipbuilders and people like that, and they built a lot of mines with the Germans and everything else. And giant, the, the, the Irish were a very good group. Yes, very honorable, very respectable. Germans, like I said, we employed a lot of different people. So, and even built the Renault manufacturing plant. You'll see. And lots of other things. Not exactly sure if it was the Irish, but it was some group. Probably one of mine, Alice. Like I said, I also had exoskeletons 1.5s building for me, you see. So, anyway. And the Irish would join the ranks as basically civilization builders. Just like the British or, or English people. I'm not exactly sure how the English were building things. They might have been using the Irish, I don't know. Like I said, the Irish are one of those amazing groups, you see. They were very, very amazing. Built some very good ships. And there were Germans and probably Indians and all kinds of people. I don't know, a lot of people would stumble up against the, the White Star Alliance because we were safety, you see. Safe harbors, safe places, lots of ships, lots of battleships. And you know, we would keep chaos at bay. Anyway, nobody likes to see it over their wives or daughters raped or, their, or anything else like that. When someone's married, they're married. And if they say no, they say no, and that means no. Anyway, whatever. Like I said, I'm, since I'm in the, you know, I said, you know, nobody's bigger than me, LS, Lucifer Star. There's no one in the universe older. So, that's why I made all these rules. Rules of marriage, rules of this, rules of that. You know, if you want to pay a girl $5 million to have sex with you, then that's your own stupidity or whatever. But you can't exactly put a gun to her head or lock her up and say, you can get out if you have sex with me. That's just fucked up. Anyway, like I said, it's a big ocean you see with lots of people and lots of life forms. So, anyway. A few people were confused. They're now dead. <laughs> <laughs> or tortured. I said, I can guarantee you that Nixon and J and all the little JFKs were tortured. I witnessed it myself. They thought that I was going to be dead, or that their troops were going to break in any second now. 
or any second and, t and, and basically kill me and release them, but that never happened. Eventually they pulled out their feeding tubes and died. They decided they didn't want the torment to go on. Anyway, I'm not exactly sure, you'll see. It was a point in time about 50 trillion years ago where no one will find them. Some people said they found my, my life forms or whatever. And they might have, but like I said, that's like opening up a rattlesnake's nest. <laughs> you know. It's like, you're not going to do very well. 250,000 exoskeleton planets throughout the universe. And one little attack, and they take to flight like a hive. The whole planet goes to space. And I said exoskeletons do things a different, a different way than the, the, than the human race. They're somewhat unstoppable. Anyway, I don't really know. Go out there, find out. <laughs> That's why. Um, there's a few times when, when people were chasing me or behind me and I was like, I'm going to go somewhere where you can't. Because they're like, how are you going to get away from us? Ha ha. It's like, I'm just going to go somewhere where, where you can't. And I went there. And was there. So. And like I said, I could go with a, with a thousand or a million or 750,000 life forms or whatever. Or 800 galaxies throughout the universe. Cold-blooded lizards knew me. Like I said, that there, the, originally there was a whole bunch of cold-blooded lizards that that that, that had um, that that had gained sentience at some point in time, and they were coming to be around me and to help me build my civilization. That whole V thing with the with the lizards. That's not exactly a lie. It's not exactly not true. Like they might have come here. Like I said, many life forms could adapt themselves to look any way they wanted. So. What they were on the inside and what they were on the outside was quite different. So you wouldn't even be able to tell them in the in, in around the planet. Like I said, that's one of the reasons why JFK and Jimmy Carter and Richard Nixon and a whole bunch of other people became very, very, very paranoid. Because you couldn't tell. 800 galaxies and all these planets and all these worlds and, and all these life forms are connected to me. So you wouldn't be able to tell what was what or who was who. You'd be lost in a sea. So, and any one of them might know of me, or might know about me, or might know that I'm the creator, the great Lucifer star, LSF colony ship. And I said many life forms would go throughout the universe and galaxy, wandering around, wondering what was going on, and what was what. So anyway, like I say, hmm. you know, my Irish people, they just built great, great big ships and partied and had fun, I hope, and stuff like that. I hope they lived good lives. They deserved it. So they worked really hard. Like I said, I did lots of things too, like paying the sewage people who worked in the in, in the sewers extra money for being down there. Hazard later on they called it hazard pay or whatever else like that. They used to get sick sometimes, but we were working on getting them respirators. I believe the Germans were working on the respirators and stuff like that, so the sewage people could work in the sewage. And in the old days, the great big boats that would that, that would slide this big, they would put this dam in front of it, and the and the water would build up behind the boat, and then the boat would push forward and stuff like that. That was all me. So, anyway, civilization director, builder, basically, yeah, yeah, whatever. Shrug. Yeah, I'm still alive. JFK or Richard Nixon or some other people thought I'd be dead. Any second now. It's like, no, I lived. Sorry. I guess. So far. <laughs> so far, so good. <laughs> it's like, well, you know. I mean, I mean, I don't like to think of, of, of everyone on a planet as expendable, but there's 7 million of you, and I love all of you. Like I said, I didn't want you to die either. I wanted you to have a good life. And have pretty things, and take vacations, and wander around. Like I said, there's so many sights to see here on Earth and in other planets and all throughout the universe. It's like, it's no fun to, to build all this epic stuff and then nobody comes to see it. So, you know. And I told them and I was right. I said, just on, just on building something epic or some great bridge, you'll be able to make money just from people coming to see this big epic thing. So, anyway. Like I said, I was right. <laughs>
They've made lots of money, more than enough money to pay for everything. Even the Statue of Liberty, I think, I, I think just on the donations and just on the, on people paying for a picture or paying for a little Statue of Liberty. And like I said, there are two of them, or more. There's the little one, and then there's a the big one. And they thought I meant Vegas or something like that, or some place. It's like, no, 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 it's uh, one of my towns or cities, they have this one. And there's lots of other stuff you see, thousands of years. Nuclear-powered trains, nuclear-powered ferries, nuclear-powered... Um, Ocean liners, star liners, <laughs> liner, Lucifer, L, you know, whatever. It's like, you know, you wouldn't even know it. I'm ingrained in your, in, in your language even. Like your whole language, everything else. Like there's many words that I also created from whatever, from star line position or whatever. You don't even know what, what's happened or how entrenched or how... You know, I'm so much inside of you or with, with, with all your language and your looks and everything else like that. Anyway, it's okay. It doesn't really matter. I mean, somebody had to come up with all the languages. So somebody had to do it. And I was that one. I didn't mind it. It was great. So whatever. I also had several British or, or English linguists also working with me or helping me. Helping the world. Teaching all my different all, all my different languages. Anyway, and to Sigourney Weaver, I say I love you. You're wonderful. You're beautiful, and thank you for doing those all the, those other movies. By the way, also crystalline teeth or glass teeth. By the way, um, that may not just be a movie effect thing. I do remember a life a life form with clear teeth. I wanted to make some teeth clear on one of my life forms, and it's something about the world they, they live on or something like that where it was possible. <clears throat> like I said, I played with nanotechnology and was also very highly whatever myself, so I could do a lot of different things, and I thought it would be cool. So it's probably out there in the universe. Yeah, somebody, some crazy person thought they could actually kill off all my life forms, and it's like, mm, probably not. There's millions of them. They have a queen or a central hub, whatever. And then, anyway, you might find them out there on planets. Whole planets of them. No, they don't need human hosts to birth themselves. They, they hatch out of eggs and then they grow up, just like every, every, everything else. Cute little buggers, actually. Although you have to be careful. One guy thought he could just be, go down and say, I'm your creator, blah, blah, blah. And he got eaten. <laughs> they ate him. I was like, you know, they do turn on you sometimes. You have to be careful about that. I'm different and blah, blah, blah. And besides, I have things that can, other life forms that can just communicate directly with them. Just tell them, like, like I can just point and say, could you just tell these people, these life forms who I am? And they would for me. Like I said, I have many computers, many other people. So, and they generally wouldn't attack me or kill me, but they have attacked before. So, like I said, I mean, you know, humanity shouldn't just go wandering around, stepping like, 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 like they own the place. It probably would end badly. I think maybe someone thought that, that it would end badly for me, but it's like, well, I'm their creator, so. And there's so many other life forms out there, someone's going to tell them the truth anyway. So anyway, they did come to Earth, by the way, at some point in time, fifty million years ago, or some point in time, they came to Earth and wiped the walls with all the, <laughs> with everyone, or something like that. I don't really know. And cleaned up all the bodies, or something, rebuilt the place, or something. Like I don't know. I, I remember some things. So anyway, like I said, a lot of people would find out some very interesting things about the universe and everything else. It's like, well, and they don't. Nobody really does sport or whatever. It's more like if you piss them off, you know, just try not to piss them off. <laughs> you know, the, or give them a reason to kill you. Like I would tell other people, I was like, just don't give them a reason to kill you. And they won't. You know. So anyway, I don't know. You know, in the existence and everything. And a lot of people would be like, you're great. It's like, oh my god. That's why I just stopped talking to hu the human race because I was like, you know, whatever. Why don't you go find out? Go ask someone before you start making up shit. You know, it's just stupid. Whatever. You know, all these kids and all these other people trying to lie, trying to think that money or, or just because you have dollar bills, like, it's so important. It's like, uh, 